almost like a holy war, if you will, to see which way of life was a better way. This is the game that matters more than any other game to them. It's part of the culture, the fabric of this state. I mean, you know, we're 100 miles apart, it's, it, and, it, and it's a great traditional game. The winner of that game is considered the winner of Texas. You go all the way back years ago. Two million acres in the state of Texas was set up to endow the two universities, the University of Texas and Texas A&M. And it originally was given to Texas. You know, I see this rivalry, sort of a quasi-religious rivalry. It has all the pageantry, the emotion, but then underlying it has the politics and, and the money. Howdy, as we say at Texas A&M, and we're pleased to see, see now Texas become SEC territory. The Longhorn Network is going to pay the University of Texas $300 million. That was why they had to go to the SEC. And then a lot of people got mad. They had to go to the SEC. Late spring of 2010, uh, began thinking about this because of the potential at that time uh, for the Big 12 Conference to, uh, to dissolve. They always talk about traditions and now they're just throwing it away. I honestly think it is University of Texas' fault. They're the one who jumped to the SEC, not us, so. It's on them. This game goes deeper than just what happens on the planet. We're going to get rid of something because it's not as profitable. I think we'll all wake up in the state of Texas and realize that we deeply miss this tradition. <laughs>